How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm gonna explain you why you have to watch this video before updating to iOS 18. So, just like every other major annual software update, there are a few things you have to consider and keep in mind before updating your iPhone. In my opinion, you have two possibilities. Number one, you go ahead and you update to iOS 18 right now as soon as possible, test it out as much as you can, so then if you want to, if you regret it, you can go ahead and downgrade back to iOS 17. I'm gonna give you all the details in a second. Or option number two, you go ahead and wait. You stick to iOS 17 at least until October, so a few more weeks, so then you go ahead and update to iOS 18 the perfect time. So let me get into the details and explain you why those two possibilities make a lot of sense. Let's get started. Okay, so please keep in mind that this video is universal. So it doesn't matter what iPhone you have, if it's an iPhone 15 Pro Max or an iPhone XR. Uh, the possibilities, the scenarios, the things I'm gonna talk about in this video are relevant to everyone. Okay, so let's talk about scenario number one. You really wanna update to iOS 18. You don't wanna wait. You wanna update right now, day one, as soon as you can. If that's your case, I really do recommend that you do so. Go ahead and update as soon as you can, but there's one very important detail. Before updating to iOS 18, while you are still in iOS 17, go ahead and back up your iPhone. You will thank me later, okay? This is mandatory. Please back up your iPhone before updating to iOS 18. You can back up using iCloud, so straight from your iPhone, or you can back up with a computer using iTunes, if you're using PC, a Windows PC, or through finder if you have a Mac. It doesn't matter how you want to back up, just make sure to back it up. And by the way, if you're not really sure how to back up your iPhone, there are a few methods. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. I do recommend that you take a look at this card right here, link in the description, where I'm going to direct you to another video of mine where I show you step by step how to back up your iPhone every possible way, okay? So go ahead, super updated video. Okay, so after you've done that, after you've backed up your iPhone, you can go ahead and update your iOS 18, the typical process through your software update feature in your iPhone settings, just like you have done many, many times. So after you do that, make sure to go ahead and test it out. Go ahead and use your iPhone as you would. Use every single app that you're used to. Go ahead and pay attention to battery life. Pay attention to performance and bugs and app compatibilities. Pay attention to everything. And then if your performance, your experience is great, you love iOS 18, great. You don't have to do anything, you're good to go. But if you don't like iOS 18 for any reason, for any of those reasons I've mentioned, like battery life, app compatibility, performance, or bugs, you have the possibility to downgrade. So you have the possibility to come back to iOS 17. And that's why it's super important that you do it right now that you go ahead and update and test it out as fast as you can because the possibility to downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17 is for a limited time only, just for a few weeks. After a few weeks, Apple won't sign iOS 17 anymore and you won't be able to come back anymore. So you just have this possibility, this window for a few weeks. So that's why it's important that you do that and that's why it's important to back up your iPhone first while you're still in iOS 17 because when you downgrade back to iOS 17, you can recover that backup because when you downgrade, you lose all your data. But since you have backed up before, you can recover from that backup and of course, you won't have lost anything any of your data, any of your files, anything like that, okay? By the way, there's a process to downgrade, it's a specific process, okay? And I do have a video here on the channel as well. I'll leave a card right here, link in the description as well. You go ahead and you check out the tutorial step-by-step -step on how to downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17, okay? So that's scenario number one, that's your first possibility right now if you really want to update and really wanna use iOS 18. Now, we have to talk about scenario number two. If you're not that concerned, if you're not really excited about updating to iOS 18, maybe you have a slightly older iPhone and a lot of the new features aren't even compatible with your iPhone, or maybe you just don't care all that much. So if that's your case, I would recommend waiting. 
wait. Because this very first version of iOS 18, which is iOS 18.0, is still full of bugs and problems and app compatibilities, performance issues, battery issues, just like I mentioned before. So naturally, it's not still very polished. It's not a final, final, finished version of iOS 18. Even though we've had many beta versions, it's just not yet. Especially because all of the app developers aren't there just yet. Their apps are not 100% compatible like on day one of iOS 18.0. So then my recommendation is wait for a few more versions. Wait for iOS 18.0.1, 18.0.2, sometimes 18.0.3, and then when Apple releases 18.1, which they will probably in October, so a few weeks from the release date of iOS 18.0, this very first version, then iOS 18 will be way more polished, way better for you to update and use on your iPhone. Please keep in mind that when they release iOS 18.1, you won't be able to downgrade anymore, just like I mentioned before, okay? So when you do decide to update, if you wait, and you do decide to update later, you won't be able to come back, okay? So it's irreversible, so think about that because that's super important. And if you have a slightly older iPhone, like an iPhone XR, XS, SE, second generation, even an iPhone 11, I do recommend that I check this other video. This video is full of indications, as you can see. I'm gonna have a link in the description as well, because I have a special video for you uh, that have a slightly older iPhone, the oldest compatible with iOS 18. I have a special dedicated video for you. I do recommend that you check it out as well before updating, okay? so. That's literally it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one as usual guys. Bye bye.